Also, I want to mention um, Africa because a lot of people actually always ask about what about Africa because we never really mention Africa as a destination for teaching. And most of that is because it's mostly unpaid volunteer work, um, certainly teaching. And it's obviously great. It's a great thing to do, uh, you know, to go. There's a lot of programs offering like uh, volunteer positions in Africa and different countries, specifically in Ghana, Tanzania, South Africa, Kenya, Madagascar. Um, and you can do that without a university degree. A lot of people do that like after, for example, after high school even, or after right after college for like a gap year. Um, but unfortunately, most of the time, Africa is just not the destination for um, like teaching full time, um, you know, earning a good salary. So, but the cost of living is very low. <laughs> All right, I have a couple of comments about Latin America. So let me just check that out. So Donovan, uh, Donovan can confirm that for Mexico, a true shame because there are many great places to live and teach in. Yeah, I think you're referring to like the, the salaries and that it's hard to make ends meet. Yeah. Marcia also says, yes, the salaries are too low in Chile. I saw an advertisement from IATTT for teaching here and the salary was 530 US dollars. Wow, a month. Yeah. And then you need to get an apartment. You need to, you need food. You need to live. It's rough. Yeah, very rough. So that's why a lot of people, they would love to go to Latin America. I would love to go. I really love to go, but it's just not something really sustainable. And I think a lot of people, <clears throat> at least I guess the people that I meet, you know, teaching English in uh, Korea, in Japan, in China, um, those are the kinds of people who come here for the high sell, also for the high salaries, but also for the culture and the country. But definitely one of the biggest uh, benefits of coming to this region are the high salaries, the great benefits, and teachers are really able to save like a thousand dollars a month uh, from their salary, which is just great. So a lot of people pay off their student loans, they come right out of college. Um, that's what my, my friend, one of my friends did. She came here for a year and saved pretty much everything she could to then go back home and save off, uh, pay off her debt. Um, so that was one thing. And obviously you can save money, you can travel a lot. So yeah, but not really the case in Latin America and also not the case in Africa. But you know, some people, like people are looking for different things, right? Some people are looking for um, be, being able to save a lot, travel a lot. While I think with Latin America and Africa, it's more about like the experience as a whole. Um, I mean, I. I would think that, you know, volunteer teaching in Africa is like a once in a lifetime amazing experience. So it really depends on you and what you're looking for. And if Africa is calling you, if Latin America is calling you, then you should definitely do it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, Marcia says with that money, it's too complicated to live here. And I think especially right for foreigners who are not from Chile, uh, we're not from there, so. <laughs> Marcia says, you can come to my place if you want to know Chile. I would be happy to have you here. I can lend you my apartment. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm really going to do that. I'm going to take you up on that because Chile, I would really love to see Chile, especially the South um, and just Latin America in general. I've always wanted to go, so... Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. That would be amazing. Especially then with local, you know, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to take you up on that. You can come to Korea in, in return, okay? We also have a guest room. You can stay there. <laughs> Good, okay. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.